Wednesday, February 2nd, and I'm at Haneda International Airport on my way to cover the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics. Those of us covering the Games have to go through precautions as strict as any athlete, uh, with multiple PCR tests before and on arrival, as well as daily tests once we're inside uh, the unprecedented closed loop. Uh, we are required to wear N95 masks, such as these, uh, throughout our stay, uh, and we will be cut off completely uh, from the general public. Uh, so as part of my coverage, uh, I wanted to use videos like these uh, to bring our Japan Times readers uh, inside the bubble uh, to show you what life is like on the ground, uh, covering one of the world's biggest sporting events uh, in such an unprecedented way. So I hope you'll uh, enjoy the content, I hope you'll enjoy the process, uh, but first, we have to get there. Well, as you can see, uh, I made it. Uh, the whole process from start to finish was fairly smooth, uh, especially uh, if you've come to Japan in the last couple of years, for example, and you've had to deal with quarantine at, at Narita or Haneda airports. Uh, they immediately send us through. Uh, we get the QR code. Uh, we go into the testing area where uh, we go through a very rough PCR test, uh, com again compared to Japanese standards, and then uh, immigration, and then it's a waiting game uh, until your bus is ready and you collect your bag and get on the bus and go to the hotel. It, it was night and day uh, from what we dealt with at the Tokyo Olympics. Uh, I think that it's pretty clear that China has a different way of handling COVID. This is something that we've known uh, since the start of the pandemic. Uh, only two people I saw, two non-passengers that I saw after I stepped off the plane were not wearing hazmat suits. Uh, one was the bus driver uh, who was separated uh, from the passengers by a full plexiglass window and the other was the manager at the front desk of the hotel when I checked in. Now that I'm inside the closed loop, uh, things should be a little easier, so to speak. Uh, I've spent the entire day, I should say the entire afternoon and evening, uh, in this hotel room. Uh, I got a call saying that my test came back negative, and so from tomorrow I'll be allowed to go to the media center and other venues and start covering these games. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed this look at the arrival process uh, and that you'll uh, continue to, to watch uh, what else happens inside the bubble and follow the Japan Times uh, for more coverage of the Beijing Olympics. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.